Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to CritCast. We are here live bringing you the action of UGC EU Highlander Season 39 Black Quarter Finals. Gentlemen, Gentle Mercs Union versus Xenon. My name is Godfather. We've got Dave on the mic with me. Weed Hoofed is on production. And uh, how are you doing, Dave? Doing pretty well. Looking forward to this game always. We are getting live. This map, uh, as I was going to mention earlier, plays a bit like product. Uh, pretty fast paced. Got a good. Uh, good sniper sight lines to work with so a lot of picks should be coming in as we get in to half number one dave is there a favorite here at all no i think it's pretty even but maybe just the fourth seed being gm as you maybe the slight favorites all right we'll see if they're able to pull it off here technic's going to be the first to fall followed by delt so two down for gmsu early on in this match as uh this team Xenon looks to uh, get on the point here. So far, so good. Uh, the flank fight's going to be with the soldiers, the NG, the occasional scout dipping around. Uh, as we saw just there in that mid fight. For now, though, things are going to settle down. We got the sniper up on that cliff. Uh, playing behind that mid shack is going to be a strong spot for the combo. Nice shot by Lit onto Fish, takes him down, no demo in the fight. Here's the Uber actually coming out. Uh, it's going to be just onto the heavy and now popping back. It might be a bad time for Icewind here. He might get caught. He's retreating well, though. That uh, mini sentry becomes the focus. And uh, not too many kills in the Uber. Post fight in favor of GMSU here, just because they have the point. Delt is in behind Delt, whatever uh, his pronunciation is. Uh, looking for a play there. Causing a good distraction, though, Dave. Blue team up on point, doing well. Yeah, they're really not committing over the point though. There was definitely an opportunity for them to kill Icewind if they're committed into that dispenser area, but now they have the banner up actually. It's a battalion's backup. They're going forward. It's direct hit going in aggressively. He's followed up by his demo and scout, but actually Deity is going to find the snipe to take down for Brigger the Medic. So while it was a decent phase of play for GMSU, they do lose their Medic there. I love playing direct hit bats back up. That is one of my favorite casual loadouts, and uh, it just worked really well there for uh, Rebicast. Is that how we're saying it? Oh, Rebby, yeah. Yeah, Rebby uh, has a good uh, play there. Blue team going to lose their medic, and red is right on to points. Xenon takes it back with full uber now. Uh, bats back up charging for Rebby right now. Looking for him to make another big play in uh, in this next fight. Uh, so far, anybody standing out? Oh, here comes Del. wants to stab onto the heavy, gets it, can he find Fish? Doesn't, because of the Uber, um, as he continues to go in. Dave, what do you think? Anyone popping off here so far? Uh, stand out thing for me is the Xenon Ubers have been very poor so far. Two Ubers, one just straight on a heavy, one overextending on Fish, they threw all their plays away. Now they've lost both of their Splash classes, Foz and Fish, both going down, so it's going to be very easy for GMSU to just walk back on the point, suddenly the only thing they have to worry about is Deity, who picks up another snipe there with the Remy. And it is going to be 30% add here for GMSU. They're cushioning a little bit here, letting people come forward. Uh, Buck going to find an arrow, work his way forward onto the point. That Pyro getting spammed back has to regroup. A lot of spam actually being eaten. Here's the Uber. Technic's going to jump in, but does not live. It is a bad Uber for the blue team as they salvage what they can. Scout going in. Doesn't find too much. He's going to die afterwards. This post bite fully in favor of Xenon. They get the point. They have the Uber. And uh, they're down about 30 seconds, but they should be able to hold it for that long with this ad. Yeah, I'm liking the position that Buck is playing behind the, the smallest of these four sheds. We're not sure of the exact call lights on this map for obvious reasons, but uh, he's just playing behind there. Very difficult for them to deal with him. Uh, as of yet, he's getting a lot of position, but this time it's GMSU with the opportunity to walk on the point. They get the cap down, they get spamming, plays out. Fish goes very, very low, waiting for an arrow, waiting for a bit of heals. Icewind, not the healthiest either, so everyone's just kind of eating spam behind the point. They're looking to recontest now with Fish going aggressive, oh! but actually Technic there. Technic with nice uh, sticks, finds Icewind. Medic is down three now, almost four falling for GMSU, but very much so worth it finding that Icewind pick. It's going to be on the, on the pick glasses to make something happen. We got a level three gun uh, up for the blue team in that uh, grass area, uh, just where, behind rock, I guess. Well, sorry, not rock, Probably, behind that roof. That it's not product, but... Uh, what, what you would call rock on product. We got a bit of a fight coming in a moment. That sentry finds something. And here's Foz jumping forward. Good damage from Foz. Forces the Uber. Almost gets out. Doesn't quite make it. 
has a uh, blue team expends their uber 50% for xenon they can't lose anyone here so bats pack up is popped out by gms you want a repush here if you're the oh. red team but you can't lose your medic like that heartbreaking as this post fight bats back up doing a lot of work for the blue team they are still dropping a lot of players but their medic is alive and they still have the point demo on the point right now flush is low health doing his best somehow xenon is getting on here with 133 on the clock, they will recap it. Two seconds left for GMSU, and uh, they're definitely in control so far. Yeah, that level three century word is a nice kind of backup plan, though, allowed Fabrica to escape without any kind of aggressive flank to chase them down. So, at the moment, it's not too bad. They're able to recycle. They do still have a large Uber ad at zero. They're going to have to deal with this Uber ad with not much time to play with. Yeah, you have to imagine there's going to be a sack in here soon. The Uber is actually just going to be popped before they can do anything. Icewind at the base of his cliff. Now he's walking into a corner. He's going to find the pack. The Uber does fade. That demo needs to die. Will he? No. And now that point unable to be touched. Xenon goes down 1-0. Uh, 57 second time difference. Dave, GMSU looking pretty strong. Yeah, they look really strong, and I think that first ride was very, very much carried by Rebby on the soldiers, finding so many battalions backups. Uh, just never seen a banner come out so many times in a single round. Yeah, Banner can uh, definitely do a lot here for a team. A low uh, pyro will go down, two down for Xenon right now. A lot of frags going every direction. Technic is going to be the target here. One health will fall. And it is a one mid fight for Xenon. A sloppy one, but a win nonetheless. Nice shot there by Lit. Picks off Buck. But uh, Xenon will cap out. Looking to get in. He gets a sap on the telly. Make sure things are a bit slower for the red team getting back. And Delt, good movement there. Does narrowly avoid death. So we have 0% uh, bats back up. 100% Uber. Xenon has the initiative here to get back on if they want. But uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be going too fast. Yeah, they seem to be pretty happy just playing behind the point plane on their rump. Uh, but they have tended to be bleeding players when that's happened. Again, they've lost their engineer, their spies now. Not the end of the world for them. Uh, but Deity now getting picked up by a nice little pipe is not great news because that's going to allow Lit freedom to snipe away. Kibo uh, gets backstabbed as well, so they're slowly bleeding players. They're going to want to trade here, trading aggressively onto Buck. They do pick up that one frag onto the enemy heavy are cool, but actually Icewind's getting air blasted a little bit, he's getting chased out. Will oh, Icewind! Icewind get the pack! Oh. oh, what a legendary play, but he's gonna fall now to the scout. Uh, Ox, or, yeah, I'm gonna call him Ox, uh, finds a way through, finds the frag. So Buck and Icewind both down, now the bats back up, out for a very aggressive play here by the blue team. They want to find more frags, they find the dispenser, a key pick, as always. Uh, chemo does go down, but otherwise just maintaining their dominance over the point. 2.30 on the clock for GMSU. Yeah, I think one of the key differences in the two sides is how much more comfortable GMSU can be behind the point when they've got that level 3 and they don't have the the big committing coming in from Xenon. They just sit there coming in, but now it's oh, comes in oh. and they delete Fabrica. What a nuke. Fish and Fars combine. A direct hit plus a pipe needs a medic down. And, uh... Xenon, they got the they got the crucial frag there, but they cannot work their way forward. They are just getting stonewalled uh, and kind of delayed at every single turn. They will have big ad here at seventy five percent or so, uh, so they should get in for free. But uh, still, GMSU doing a really good job of controlling space here. Look at that! Ice Wind goes down to about ten health. There has to find it back again. They don't even have quite yet. Foz is dead to a nice snipe from Lit. Rebby dies to the spy. Oh, Delt finds a couple more. The pit class is popping off right now. Only five alive, now four alive for Xenon. They try to cap this point. Icewind just trying to hide in that corner. It's not going too well for them. The spam pushing that heavy back. They do find the cap, but at what cost? A couple people do go down, and now gentlemen, gentle Mercs right back in. Yeah, Icewind does have that Uber, so a little bit of add, and they're gonna use it aggressively now onto Kaga, and even launching fish up in the air. He's gonna spend a lot of the time shooting, taking that sentry gun out. They'll probably, no, not even quite find the heavy, so really not as many frags as they would have wanted, and crucially not on the most important classes either. Uh, fish there lives with four health after being launched into the skybox. Ox gonna go down, Kimo, Kimo, excuse me. 
finding a frag there. Foz, I like the positioning here, doing his best to just be a forward uh, player. Has to jump out now as three players rush forward. Technic is going to have the uber popped on him. He gets stuffed in the air. Carrot Flower is jumping forward now on Pyro. Going to get good burn damage in onto Fish. The arrow keeps him alive. Technic is down. Carrot as well going to fall. So an aggressive play there by GMSU. Doesn't find too many frags, and now they're down a couple. And uh, Xenon has the initiative to get back in, 50 add for them. Yeah, definitely opportunity here for Xenon to get aggressive. They've got a, a lot of frags here. They want to step on the point. They, again, though, they're not going deep, they're not taking out a sentry gun, they're not really pushing their advantage. Alright, I'm seeing this uh, this corner that Xenon likes to be playing by this left shack from their, uh, you know, on the side of point. Dog bread, if you will, on product. Uh, easy for Lit to keep finding frags there and consistently doing so. The uber popped out before Medic can go down. Here's a heavy uber, the demo jumping in, finds a flash, can he find frags? Doesn't look like too many. Ox and Fabrica are gonna go down, um, so the crucial med pick is found, and it is a uh, worthwhile uber. That level 3 gun, I almost want to see it put up on Cliff, what do you think about that? I mean, it's doing a decent amount of work though, it's at least something they have to shoot at, and it uh, gives them a stopgap. At the moment, like, Xenon is so kind of loath to push fully across the point, I think. I think it's just about doing its job. Yep, it certainly is uh, a nuisance to work against. Fish is going to go down to a cool, uh, heavy, finding a big kill there. The, f the flank area here, I feel like uh, GMSU has just been controlling this alley area a whole lot better. They've got the DH, so a scout has to be super careful. Can't really go over there without a buff or risk being uh, annihilated. So they have the flank, and now they can just box Xenon into this corner. Fish getting real low from the spam. Both teams exchanging a lot of spam across the point, rotating around to the other side now. Uber's about 100% for both sides, not quite for either team. There's GMSU popping across the point, two seconds on the clock for them. Babu, or Babo tries to go in, doesn't find anything. Now the counter pop coming forward for Xenon. They do find the cap, it's overtime for GMSU. A lot of frags, but no meta kill, no demo kill. And it's just going to be easy for Blue to get right back on point, Dave. Yeah, Buck and Dirty both went down at the tail end of that push as well, so Lit has so much space to just play on top of that little roof area on his battlements. Just you can see quite, you know, you don't have the best sight lines on this map, but you can see enough. You can see those Cosby important Tom opens. Gets the demo, can you find the med? No! Fabrica doesn't go down, and that will actually be the round 2-0 for GMSU here on fruit map number one. I, I would like to see a bit a uh, bit better play from the flank of Xenon, try to get in and be a bit more of a nuisance, bomb the combo more. Yeah, Foss is definitely going direct bombs onto Fabrico an awful lot, but beyond that it seems uh, certainly Delt and uh, Oxy are finding a little bit more value on the flank and again Kimo immediately picked up down there. Yep, Dalt is actually going to narrowly get by the heavy, don't know how he wasn't seen, I think he bumped, but uh, finds the sniper instead, which basically wins the midnight for GMSU, uh, as Foz also fell, so two, two versus one, it's a one midfight for GMSU, they get the point, and it's uh, even Ubers, obviously, no medics going down here, I... I really don't like this uh, this corner that everyone's choosing to play against. There's an example of why Lit gets picked off by Deity there, and uh, that'll be the opening pick for Fish to Uber in, maybe. Yeah, it looks like they're just trying to step on the point, trying to get some cap time down before using uh, as early as they would have wanted. But actually, Deity is picked up again by Dow. I think that's twice in the same life. He's just living behind, picking up Deity whenever he can. And it's actually going to be GS GMSU aggressive across the point with the Uber. Yeah, I really like that Uber call there. Get around. They found uh, an entrance and capitalized on it. Not finding too many in the Uber, but this post certainly going in favor of GMSU. They annihilate the heavy. Three down, four down now. Foz also weak, has to run away. And look at a cool. He can just walk forward and uh, control so much space on heavy. Once you get in, I think it's really hard uh, for a team to push out of their spawn. You can almost forward hold just in this, uh, like, grass area. Oh my god, Delt is going absolutely huge right now. Eventually he's cleaned up, but he got three sniper frags, a medic frag, a demo frag, and a pyro frag. That, that's a single life. 
Yeah, that is uh, what you want to see from your spy for sure. The Big Blast is popping off its full Uber, full ad for GMSU. And over a minute as well, advantage on the clock. They're just playing a lot cleaner here. Uh, Dave, remind me and everyone else at home, what are we playing to round-wise? Uh, it's going to be the first team to get three rounds on the board on this first map. So this is as, as effectively map point here for GMSU. They look in complete control. Delt has been doing an absolute number on the opposition right now. They've actually just lost Carrot Flowers. So, and, oh, Technico in very, very low as well. He's picked up. So a little bit of a bleed from the combo. So they're going to have to force out onto a heavy. Yeah, don't really love using there. I would have just regrouped if I were GMSU instead of expending the Uber. Now you've given add right back to Xenon. Delt's going to find Deity here. Oh, doesn't get the kill. Deity turns around just in time, so Delt will fall. Uh, to the body shot, Lit looking for anything. Will find Fish. Nice kill there. Cool on a 5k right now. The bat's back up, popped out, so they're going to rush forward with this protection. Kaga's going to get caught immediately. A cool on a 6k now. And just that one uh, banner pop, it's going to force out the Uber actually. Here comes Chemo trying to get in with his medic, and it's a soldier bomb as well to help, but really nothing there for the red team. Xenon struggling to get in, do anything. Yeah, is it all right when they've got their nine players up when they're able to play like kind of passive and just get a little bit of cap time? But they pushes across the point. They're really not all committing as a team. Uh, they're not really going forward together, and that just allows Fabrica to live more. Than they should have had that 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 engineer, that sentry to live more as well. Delt finds another 2k there, the Uber popped out by GMSU, 30 seconds and counting down for them on the clock. This medic made me in trouble all the way back to their concrete area on the left side of their map uh, and struggling to regroup, find a way in. I almost want to see something drastic here, I want to see something like a crits pop or uh, I don't know, a different push angle. Here's a good bomb from Foz, he's going to spend most of his rockets without finding the medic. Medic stays alive, they push onto point, going well so far for the red team. That level 3 gun still alive is helping the Medic get out uh, with their Uber. Well, 65% for GMSU, 95% for Xenon. One second on the clock, it's match point as previously mentioned. Uh, Xenon needs to uh, hold this for a while to stay alive in map number 1. Yeah, they do have slight Uber advantage. They're not going to be able to use it because Fabrico is nearly there already, but they're going to have to rely on this Uber to block the point. Now we see Del. GMSU get aggressive. They're going to pop it out of the buck. It's an aggressive uh, Uber on the defense, I guess, really. But Fish has to eat a lot of that because he went so, so low. Had to get flashed multiple times during that Uber. Uh, a couple of frags, mostly in Xenon's favor, but nothing crucial yet. These uh, sniper sightlines are kind of nasty, actually lit right now. It's just able to hold down an entire angle, stop the push onto point. Fish is going to try to rotate and do something else on the other side, and it's actually going to work. Deity finds lit. Cap almost coming through for GMSU. They just need to win one fight, and they have map number one. Delt looking to get in. He misses his jump, so he's going to have to go the long way around. Bit of a push on the flank for Xeonon right now, but it's going to be uh, about even Ubers, Dave, and... We've seen so far GMSU wins during even Ubers. Yeah, and with just one second left uh, for GMSU, Zeno you know, having to stay on the point, they're having to stay in the meat grinder. Fish gets another frog onto a cool buck is picked up with the stab, but Icewind went down through all of that. They don't have the players here to really push this here at GMSU, but they do have a large Uber advantage. Yeah, the Uber is going to be crucial. It's basically a map-winning Uber coming up here. The Dispenser, the only thing offering heals for the red team right now. Lit, controlling space, and will control Deity. Finds the headshot, takes him down. That's going to be the map as the Uber's popped out onto point. Kaga's doing his best. Pause also falls. That is map number one to GMSU. Uh, pretty pretty uh, cleanly as well. And yeah, that's, that's one of his favorite things to do. Absolutely, yeah, it's uh, a good strat on a map like Swiftwater. Gates are going to open. Do you have a favorite here? Is it GSMU? Uh, based on or what we've seen so far, I'd have to back them, yeah. Yeah, I would have to agree. Soldier getting some spam onto cart. Uh, Babo is in a uh, kind of a Batman position. Ooh, an early pick onto Fish and Buck. That's actually terrible for Xenon here. They have to leave. Um, the spy is going to look for something, he decloaks, and he's just going to get caught and die. I, the one thing that you never want to do on point number one of Swiftwater is have anybody meaningful die. And he had 
uh, both Fish and Buck go down there, so they have to back out. Um, they're still holding in this uh, uh, entryway, but now going to escape back out to second. Set up on the high ground, be ready in apartments. They got the trap set and everything. Um, just, I guess, a, a very small misplay that wasn't really capitalized on in terms of losing your demo that early. Yeah, particularly when you lose a player early like that, it doesn't really matter because the, yeah, the sports are up before GMSU can do much of it, but they're actually just going to walk straight in through the one-way door. They're going to get the Uber forced out, throw uh, everyone into the respawn queue, but crucially hold on to their own Uber with just beautifully using that one-way door to sack through, committing everyone and keeping their medic nice and safe back in spawn. Yeah, that's a perfect six-man sack there, uh, just to ensure for that the Uber is going to be forced. Uh, Dell is going to get caught here. He was lurking um, down in nursery. Uh, I think that's that's an NA call for sure. Um, we have the uh, second attempt here. Going to come forward now through the door is the blue heavy. The Uber pop oh. here is going to die. No pyro is actually huge for the red team. Um, they are going to lose their own though. The gun going to fall. Buck doing his best. The conch is out. Looking for a cool will find him. Fish actually gets two. The medic is out. That is a failed push through apartments. Uh, the cart just coming out of cave here in a moment. Uh, it's a question of how quickly will that gun get back up. It's going to be over on the flank side. Is this still a, an attempted push happening? No, they're just going to be peeking. Uh, but GMSU uh, certainly has the, the respawn advantage and will be getting in position faster and faster. Yeah, it's a beautiful little uh, disadvantage hold there. Just getting the, the deny with the pyro, the trap kill, and then great re-aggression from Foz as well. But they are bleeding a few plays there. Oh! And a drop is going to come in with the spam pipes. Yeah, it was bad enough to lose the energy and the pyro, but then the spam pipes picks up the medic. That is awful to see, and it's full add for GMSU as well. Not anybody on the cart quite yet. Ooh, nice ragdoll on the soldier. The Uber actually popped. Don't know what forced that, but uh, Fabrica did take some damage and thought it was best to use the Uber. So it will be about even as we get in on to uh, point number three here. Two points in under three minutes. Not a bad time. Yeah, it's Fish who stayed in for the force, but obviously, you know, your demo doing that means he's not quite, even quite up there, just about respawning now. Opportunity for GMSU to try and push in, but Deity did get one crucial frag onto the cart to just slow them down a little bit there. Is he not going to get a hold set up here? We can see Kimo and Foz both are raining down Terra in the little uh, upper walkway area, just spamming down, uh, providing a lot of resistance up there and you can see Lit isn't sure oh. where he wants to go because he's so scared of that flag. Fish, d looks for the medic and gets the medic! Oh, it's so free! Kaga was just only checking the upper area. When that medic goes down low, it is imperative to drop with him. Both medics did fall though, so it's going to be an even scuffle oh, here. Fred Foss. has the advantage, Foz just pops off. That was beautifully played by Foz, just knew that they were walking into that uh, kind of lobby house area and just walks through, jumps up through that little drop down and comes in perfectly timed flag and finds basically a full combo. Dell again finds a kill on the low ground. I don't know where the pyro is, but I guess coming out of the respawn right now and red team will escape through their spawn, get out before it's too late. Three points in 416, not bad at all here. And actually GMSU is taking a whole lot of space. There's not gonna be a gun set up yet. Just a level one actually. Uh, and Lit has the sight line as well. Delt's calling out. The soldier jumping forward. Kimo has to be careful. You don't want to drop any players here on the red team. Blue's cart keeps moving forward. It's almost even. Blue with a slight add. Eating a lot of spam. A nice find by Deity to take down the heavy. Delt still just lurking right there. No one's oh finding him. The decloak. Delt for sure. Oh, he's not going to find <laughs> it. But. Oh, that was almost heartbreaking to watch. Blue is going to use in here the exchange happening on this ramp area. The heavy getting saved. Buck will uh, probably look for a sandwich here in a moment. Spamming around as he's able. Lit has the sight line from the door. The shutter open. Finds Kimo. He's on a 3k. He's popping off. Can he find Kaga? He will. He's getting four now. And uh, the medic is very, very close to dying. He does the sight. And then Delt finds the stab. The pick glasses from GMSU are just going off right now. Finding all the shots, all the stabs. And uh, this is a very tough situation to hold if you're Xenon. 
Yeah, again, wasn't the best combo exchange for GMSU, uh, but it didn't really matter because they're crucially their pick classes got into great positions. Lit got into that uh, garage doorway and dealt just continued to rain havoc in the back lines, and they came in with the crucial picks. Red does use their taunt. Royal Flush comes in, finds the uh, the crits from the revenge crits rather, picks off the spy. Uh, Blue's combo in a tough spot right now. Deity looks for the headshot, misses it. Now has to play safe. If I were Blue, I would just rush him right there. Still trying to hold. Deity just single-handedly holding down the sightline. He misses a shot again. Now the spy is going to walk forward. The scout looking for a play. Going to immediately get killed. I, I don't know what the thought process here is, Dave. I think they want to push on this right side. And they are going to use the Uber. Deity and Paco both going to go down. The Uber out. Uh, Technic is going to get gunned down with a wrangled uh, Royal Flush gun, but this cart getting so close right now. Yeah, I think they were waiting for the cart there, but they gave an awful lot of time for Xenon to set up. They're actually looking to get counter aggression for their Royal Flush with those uh, crits from the Frontier Justice. Wasn't enough to dislodge the combo, the combo still controlling the lobby area, but Kibo has something to say about it. He runs in onto a cool, but does get cleaned up. And oh, might fish, is fish get as well. Caught. Yeah, fish gets caught because the medic needs needed to uh, send Buck and Arrow, and now it's all falling apart. The Uber's going to be on the cart, trying to stop it in the last second. It's about to go in the pit. It's so close right now. Delt finds another stab. It's all falling apart. Delt gets another stab. Can he get another? No, it's dead. Boss gets forced into the pit, and that is 713 through 5. Delt throwing an XD in chat, a well deserved one. Uh, he is just toying with his food here. Yeah, Dell put in a ton of work once more on this second map, just finding that frag onto Buck. He got a trick stab early onto Buck as well, he's just tormenting him and getting that crucial one on the on the cart as well, which is enough for them to muscle it over. So, you know, 7.13 on some other maps would be a decent time for the defense, but this tends a little bit longer, so it's, it's a pretty good time, I'd say, for GMSU. Yeah, especially at this level, you know, it's not... Uh top top uh tf2 play here um so 713 is going to be just fine on that last point there i uh, do want to do a little bit of analysis the heavy's positioning uh at the top of the ramp uh separated from the combo not standing on uh the light and looking through the window bit of a misplay there i think strategically you need to have that heavy close to your combo so the medic doesn't have to uh be looking 180 degrees from the demo to the heavy and also the heavy can just uh control a lot of space there so a bit of a misplay um and it costs them dearly but here we go as uh xenon now tries for their offense uh shot onto cart but no kills so far yeah, so the people who aren't super familiar with this map, obviously the first point tends not to be contested too hard at all. The defense just sets up in cave to make sure no crazy shenanigans go in behind in terms of the flank. The the upper door doesn't even open up until that, that first gap comes in. So the defensive team just tends to do what we've seen here, set up in cave and then move back when the car gets very, very close to cap it out. They might not be moving quick enough right now, Buck. Could have stayed up by those shutter doors and just uh, rushed through as soon as the cap comes through. Red team not yet up top. Demo will have to jump. The pirate takes the telly uh, narrowly getting into position in time. But uh, <laughs> Fish is going to taunt from behind the shutter door where he is safe. The Uber uh, will hopefully be forced here if Blue pushes correctly. Uh, getting everyone in position. The trap's not yet dead. Fish eats a pipe but has the heals. I don't know, Dave, this is uh, looking pretty strong for GMSU. Yeah, they're taking time to do this setup, so they are going to need to make it all work. They're peak, trying to peak Deity at the same time. They're not going for a committed uh, six or seven man sack like we saw GMSU. They're just prodding and probing, and Deity's even going to rotate now, so we'll see exactly what they want to do, but at the moment, it's a whole lot of nothing. Babo looking for a decloak. Will decloak now, looking for the demo, finds them, and that is the opening pick, but. Fish is actually going to die on the other side of things. The Uber popped out by Red. Uh, the gun going down, it's, uh, it ends up being a, a five man. Uh, and the spy on cart might go down. Delt looking for Deity. Finds him again. Two go down to Delt. He is uh, absolute menace. Are we sure he doesn't play Prem Spy? 
<laughs> it looks like he could based on this showing so far. But Babo actually did a great job while that was all happening of just nudging the car a little bit further. Now the car is very, very close. Icewind has that full Uber. So it will only take a decent entrance for them to convert this into a oh, second cup. Fabrik is actually quickly. just going to be all the way out. You want Xenon to use Uber here if you're GMSU because you're not having your medic stick around. They are going to pop, so it's big for GMSU in the long run. I want to see Fish try to jump away here. He doesn't get the pack. He doesn't... Well, or excuse me, Technic. He doesn't get the pack, uh, but he does escape. Oh, oh I lit. dead? Yeah, lit. On the far oh side, God. managed to find that snipe through the doorway. But that does mean Lit is uh, very, very separated from the rest of his team. Kivo and Foz are both going to run in, eventually clean him up, but he did get that uh, value pick onto the medic, so that's going to be the most important thing. Ox doing uh, scout things around cart right now. I'm looking to see, can Babo do what Delt did? Uh, so far, nobody dropping down. Everyone's staying up on that high ground. The sap! He can't get the sap! He's trying so hard! The spy is jumping <laughs> in place! He jumped maybe five or six times with the sapper out. He's gonna gun down the sniper here if he can. Lit so is going to fall. My god, uh, I am clipping that, and he has to live with that. Unfortunate stuff for Barbo, but Xenon, again, not going at uh, breakneck pace, but looks like they're just about ready to start pushing here. They're up in the upper corridor, just raining down pain, and there we go, the spam is coming out, the sentry gun is down. They haven't quite got the force out onto Fabrica, they got blocked on cart as well. So at the moment, Xenon... Oh, Rebby almost falls, the bat's back up is out, the con... Oh, it's Buff Banner, actually, for the blue team, trying to out-damage uh, the... Red team there, Fish is going to die, the Uber is going to be out onto Foz with the DAH right now, jumping forward, not finding a lot, now the counter Uber from the red team, trying to clean up a bunch of kills, Icewind getting in, or uh, getting behind, tries to escape on the stairs, Pyro chases him down, dealt on another 3k, dominating Deity right now, he is an absolute menace, and it's almost an entire team wipe for Xenon right now, uh, only two living there, GMSU, Holding it down, they've got their level two, almost level three gun up on the next oh, point, no. so they can get out whenever. <laughs> tricks, guy go by just hiding in a corner, decloaking on him. He surely doesn't get Foz as well. Everyone's chasing down Delt. He is tormenting them right now and absolutely styling at them. Doesn't quite get the teleporter sap, but that spy, was spy. just about. Spy, be spy, Delt, Delt wins it. Oh my God, it's just it's it's BM at this point. For real, he's going to uh, end up butter knifing uh, Babo, and uh, <laughs> he's he's going to keep lurking somewhere else now. It's almost full Uber for GMSU on the defense. Uh, Deity looking for a sight line through main. Oh, should have kept scoping for a little while longer. Lit went right where he was looking just after he unscoped. Here's a push through IT. It looks like Buck's going to get very weak. Looks for an arrow taking value time of healing away from everyone else. Tell on a 7k, he finds Foz, the Uber popped up by both teams. It's going to be completely stuffed though. Can we collapse if you're GMSU? Doesn't look like they want to. Delt looks for another. It's going to dead ring away. This is uh, almost guaranteed to be GMSU's uh, round so far. They are just on fire. Yeah, see, they're going to have to break this defense open very, very quickly and then push the, all the way to last with the 3x to have any opportunity at the moment. GMS, they're slow, they don't have a centric up, but they have all their important classes. A technique going pretty low actually in the demo, but it's continuing to just spam down that main choke area. Kimo is in a decent position here actually to get a frag not only onto they Technic, but the maybe cap. the pyro as well. Are going to get the cap. Uh, one minute on the clock, though, is not a lot of time, and again, uh, that was, I believe, done without the level 3 in position, because it had been set up by Daluigi all the way back on 4. Uh, Delt is finally going to go down after an 8k. Uh, the medic oh, the blue it's team! A the free hit runs in, was completely caught up behind, but runs and gets a saw, gets the uber, and will get out as well. My lord, this is, uh... Royal Flush is putting in good round. It is, uh, it is a round, that's for sure. I don't know how good it was. Uh, Lit will fall first time in a while. Didi looking for some picks. It's really... Oh, actually, oh nice, my God. nice, nice tap onto Icewind there. Picks up Buck as well. Uh, it's all falling apart. Xenon has no chance here. 
doubt. Getting some more frags for his edgy spy frag movie that is inevitable at this stage. Uh, just trying to make one last point of second with that. A couple of seconds left on the run. But it is all she said. All is said and done. Uh, GMS, you take the first round. Yeah, very. Yeah, I want to see Ice win like crits or like something. Something crazy. You might as well, right? You might as well do something kind of wild here. Try to break through. The gates are going to open. The traps are going to be not dead yet. Uh, they're seen, so it's fine. Uh, Deity immediately deleted. Foz jumps in. Not going to find much. A scout up near. Somehow, Del is dead. So, uh, Xenon can rest easy for a little while longer. Actually, a lot of frags going in favor of uh, GMSU, though. They, they clean up pretty much everyone who comes forward. Yeah, they maybe be able to slow the car down just a little bit. Not for long, there is a 3x now, so it's only going to be a couple of seconds here or there, but at the moment, uh, Xenon really struggling to find too much. They find Oxy the scout, but that's about all, and you can already see the GMSU team backing up to second, taking the high ground, and they look nicely in control of that area. Yeah, pretty... Uh Pretty smooth standard stuff. GMSU in position, ready to go. Uh, full Ubers for both teams. It's level two gone. The Uber popped out. They're not even trying for a sec. They're just going to exchange in this uh, apartments area. Buck going to go down. Is the NG also going to? No, NG just barely survives there. Uh, so there's your force, Dave. I don't know. Is that is what is that what you wanted to see? Uh, I'm not a huge fan of trading in this area. It's difficult to get any kind of positive uh, frags out of the trade. Uh, I mean, they've got a couple of frags onto the flag, so maybe that gives them an opportunity to do something from the cave area, but at the moment you can see the... Oh. Technic dead. Uh, big find there with the, just like one sticky gets sent through uh, and kills the demo. Lit looking at the flank right now, uh, it's a big opportunity here actually for Xenon. I would just go forward if I were them. Fish is gonna get down to half before doing any damage, but finds the kill onto GMS, onto Carrot Flower, excuse me. Read the tag, not the name. Buck dead in exchange. Fish I'd like, getting yeah, they weak. really need to commit though. Note the demo was down for quite a while there. The pyro was still out of the equation. They didn't commit, they only had a heavy to deal with. And not even an Uber was up for Fabrica, so they really missed their window there, I think. Yeah, uh, like. It's just an, an execution issue, as as I was talking about earlier, alluded to a little bit earlier. Like execution is so important um, at uh, like in these types of games, you gotta make sure you're doing everything together, doing everything right. Uh, a 5k for Foz there picks up lit, so no sniper to be uh, worried about. Little bit of reprieve for Xenon here. They're gonna lose fish though. Now they're gonna lose Buck. Oh, it's all falling apart. Babo looking for something. They're actually going to win this point here in a very scrappy manner, uh, but win the point nonetheless. Yeah, they did just about create enough of a ruckus, get enough frags, but Fabrica crucially was able to escape with not too many people to escort them, so good job there on the medic getting out and meaning the Ubers are essentially equal. Yeah, basically going to be even here to help picks up Deity, uh, just the Spy Menace, man, I don't know. I. I don't know if uh, he's just been practicing a lot, or Delt is secretly a spy main, he makes Puppet all the time, but he is absolutely crazy. He finds Foz just as I'm talking about him. Uh, he's lurking in the background, looking for Kimo here. He's going to escape with his life. The Ubers are exchanged as I'm talking about the spies. Uh, not too much happening, actually. This is a weird Uber, Dave. Yeah, not the, not the most classical Uber from either side. It's shaken out okay. Buck was in a decent position briefly, but they haven't completely been able to dislodge GMSU there. They're still in position. Meg doesn't have too much support, uh, but actually, no, the Scout and Demo are going to support them there. They have control of the little house area. They have control of, uh, I guess, this kind of metal area as well. So at the moment, with not even too much cart time, GMSU has sat nice and pretty. Yeah, this is an interesting high ground push for Xenon. Uh, Foss is going to die again. Didi eating some spam. Everyone eating spam. Bucks down below. All isolated. He's going to die to flames, I'm pretty sure. And he is. Uh, Carrot Virus finds that in the end. It's a real easy uh, 
position to push if you just are able to get in, but the problem is Xenon has not yet gotten in once this game, really. Every time they try, they fail. The gun down now, it's a it's a chance. You got Uber, do you go for the exchange, Dave? Uh, I wouldn't, but Xenon have been very happy to so far, but they've had to use pretty early fish, just had to jump in with the Uber as well. He's gonna find Remy the soldier, and they're actually gonna get some cart on while all this is happening, but again, Kimo runs in, actually oh! does get the important frag. Uh, actually helps Deity get the frag there. Good cleanup by no, Foss as well. Point. Pandemonium on the point. It's gonna be enough for them to cap it out and get those forward spawns. And I oh. think Icewind will survive as well. Oh, imagine if Icewind had died there to Del. That would I, like I don't know. I I might not been been able to cast after that, but uh, luckily it didn't happen. So the show will go on. Dagger is gonna die as he gets juggled up. Lit finds Buck. DD looking for a frag onto the combo, does find Technic, that's a good one to get. Rika uh, is a bit weak, has to be careful. Babo's gonna look for the gun down on Lit, misses his first two shots, but finds his next three, misses another one. Lit is five health, and he's not gonna find the kill. Now, uh, the pressure coming in onto this uh, dispenser area as the cart moves forward. Foz is looking for spam, doing his best here. Lit is dead, Delt is dead, both pick glasses are dead for the defense. Now the medic falls. Everything's falling apart, but no, five down for the offense as well. It's still going to hold. Babo gets wrenched. He doesn't see the engineer behind him. Don Luigi is getting his third kill of his life. Uh, Dave, what's going on, man? I mean, Jeeves, you just about held on there. Their combo classes stood firm on the high ground. We're able to spam down the cart just about win the fight, but Icewind has the Uber now. They're going to use it aggressively onto Fish. But gets mostly caught. It's pretty well denied, actually, by Carrot Flowers, who does go down eventually, but has done more than enough. Fish is cleaned up. They don't even take out the sentry gun until just about now. This uh, player scattered around the car, actually, for Xenon, but Icewind Lit's on the gets roof? stoked as well. Wait, can you get... Oh, yeah, you can get up there regularly. For some reason, I thought Lit had like, been juggled and served Lit's perfectly, so but no. Oh. It gets Man. cleaned up with what well, was probably a, a two damage shot from yes. the cart from the engineer, but it's enough to Babo. fight him. Babo misses! No! He stops the gun, but he misses the stat. No way he lit. No way he just lived. What a sneaky guy. Here's the cart coming forward now. Boz picks up Delt. Oh! Babo looks for something else. He does die again. The gate's open. No one's touching. It's 100% for the red team. When are they going to pop? Just now. They're going to drop onto Buck, doing their best here. Find some kills. Foz is killed by Lit. Ooh, nice reflect. Carrot Flowers picks up Fish. A lot going to go down for Xenon. This is uh, a tough spot to be in, but I have faith. Xenon, they just got to keep this Uber alive and uh, get a good push in. Yeah, that worked out well, just the eight-man blob on the cart, fighting for the low ground. We're never going to win the fight, but got the cart pretty close, got the force out as well. Barbo in position here to go for something, but uh, forgets that as soon as he shoots, the sentry gun can shoot him back as it reveals his disguise. He goes down before Zeno, they're able to get into a push area. So we have to see what Zeno wants to do. They're not committing to lobby, they're not really committing to anything just yet. Looks of like course. they're going to wait for their Uber now. Yeah, I might as well wait for the Uber. They're actually going to pop it pretty aggressively, getting up through the ramp. A cool doesn't get punished, actually. Finds a health kit. Oh, Icewind was one health, does die on the cart. Now a cool finding more arrows sent his way. Buck is very weak, has to try to escape. Normal Flush is dead. A lot of people dead on the blue team. Chemo somehow in behind. Is he going to escape? He is. Uh, Foz and Kaga both going to go down there. This is... Uh, a situation where I want to see that heavy up on the traffic light and controlling space in lobby. Don't let Xenon in at all. Yeah, Xenon's push is just a little bit too linear, a little bit too many players blobbed up on the cart, fighting with the low ground. No pressure up from lobby whatsoever, so that sentry gun just didn't get shot at at all. Nothing to flank it, no threat coming in from any other direction, so uh, not working out for them just yet. Ooh, the gun's gonna go down. Fish doing his best right now. He's one health. Dies to carrot flowers again. But gentlemen, gentle mercs. I keep wanting to say, keep wanting to say gentlemen's mercs, but that is not the name. Gentle mercs union, uh, holding on strong here. A little while longer. Lit finds deity, keeps the sight lines clear for his team. Uh, Dave, what do you want to see? Like, what's what's to be changed? They just need to approach it from a couple more different angles. Now we're seeing Kimo and Foz getting up into the lobby area but as long as they're you know applying pressure from two different angles Xenon 
they will be able to break this, but at the moment they're just, just relying on brute force from the front and it's quite easy for the defense. Yeah, brute force uh, might eventually work, but they've spent a lot of time trying to cap last. It was four points in 638, uh, which is not the best time to be honest. It's going to be a flank push. I like this idea, changing something up. Uh, the medic eating some flame damage. Carrot flowers is going to stop this Uber entirely by himself. Not you. Oh, but a nice headshot by DD. He's actually going to find two sniper than the medic. So this heavy is going to be in trouble. This should be the collapse, but now Fish is dead. We have the bad fuck back up in hand for Reggie. Can he, or Rebby, excuse me. Will he use it? He will now. And I don't know how they didn't win that. Like the yeah. game should, the round should be over, Dave. Spawners came in absolute clutch for GMSU. They finally dislodged the sentry gun. They finally got the car close enough there. Uh, but they, they just run out of players, run out of bodies, run out of spawners. And uh, dealt. Oh, he does get cleaned up. So, you see, finally, some space being taken in this lobby area and a lot more pressure applied to GMSU. Uh, pressure is key. They're going to look for the flank push one more time. But if the Ox is just hit behind, he's going to find two. What the heck is that play? Uh, Don Luigi. Oh, I didn't even see the car get pushed in, but it will finally happen in 1052. Yeah, that was much better, that final push. You can see the combo came down the right side. Kimo ran in all the way on the scene behind, took out the NG, uh, which helped them with the sentry gun. And the engineer and Heavy Buck were applying pressure from the cart as well. So they did finally find the answer, but uh, not fast enough because 10.52 isn't a great time. Yeah, certainly not the, the time they were looking for. Shout out, Buck, by the way. Uh, great guy. Um... And uh, now we're in match decider, right, Dave? This is uh, if it's gentlemen's uh, or channel mercs to win here, right? Yeah, if they do cap it within that 10:52 minutes, they will take the road, take the map, and take the tie, and go through to the semi-finals, which I believe will be against SCCK. So uh, nice. that's that's the privilege they're playing for. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you play to lose another day. Um, who knows, maybe they'll get an upset for the... Yeah, somehow. But, uh, gates are gonna open, we got cons, we got bats back up, we don't have crits. I wanna see crits, you might as well at this point, right? Just for fun. Possibly, I mean, I don't know. They've got so much time that they can mess around, they can have a few fail pushes, but they have a, a big fallback in terms of a long, long timer to work with. Yeah, that was a really nice coordinated play over the roof by the uh, scout and demo. Uh, they do go down for it, but they force that heavy and scout in for the respawn time. Um, I like the initiative sort of play. Uh, Babo is lurking, should be calling out. Uh, that was the freest sightline I've ever seen a sniper have on this map. Uh, and doesn't hit the shot. Unfortunate for DAD. Now he's going to get pressured back by Rebby. Delt finds the NG and the gun. What even is this game right now, as Delt just walks over everybody yet again? Yeah, taking the telly out as well means that Buck has had to just pleb walk it all the way up. Uh, back. They've got themselves up in the position, they're not going to be uh, removed too easily. Actually, Fist of Steel is going to run straight through, that's an unlock that is available in UGC, not in E2F2O at the moment, I believe. Uh, going to go in for a sack, uh, don't force it out of ice to actually. They lost, yep. what, five players for it? That was a really, really good coordinated uh, hold there by Xenon. They don't pop, they, they get a bunch of frags, they keep things even, they don't panic. Uh, that was probably the cleanest play I've seen from them so far. And uh, I just wish we had seen a little bit more of it throughout the game. Uh, it's going to be uh, <laughs> trying one more time here for GMSU coming through with the heavy. The debt comes in, picks up Technic, uh, good one there by Fish. Uh, who got stabbed? Did Delt really just stab Fish? Yeah, uh, everyone was looking forward. It was a nice little play. Delt just, you know, got in position while pressure was being applied from the front, and players uh, aren't going to turn around when they've got someone to shoot out in front of them. So there we go. Nice little pick, but can they make the most of it here, GMSU? Ooh, here's the Uber coming in for the trade. Milking as long as possible is the medic getting launched back. Doesn't fall off the high ground, which is good, but can they save their players? Doesn't look like it. Actually, the spy is in. Babo will go down. Um, 
And it's a couple more falling on both sides. Ice Wind is pretty weak. Has to stay alive here. Looking for a sandwich. It's been thrown, but he can't... <laughs> oh, he had to peek for it. He's just narrowly avoiding death via lit. But, uh, avoiding it nonetheless. Oh my god, this sniper is just holding the sightline for free. Delt's gonna pick up Royal Flush as well. No NG, no gun as it sapped. Ah, the, the pick glasses, man. I swear, they could just play 2v9 and win. It seems that way, and Xenon is so scared of lit, and that door being opened in front of him, no one wants to pick that sideline. Fishes occasionally, oh. it, but Rebby comes in, just floods in through the gate, finds the diamond, hits onto Icewind, and that is medic down, and uh, defense crumbling for Xenon. Delts looking to pistol down fish, will be successful, and find Schema, actually, oh, it's no Schema. <laughs> No, don't don't play here, Flush. Run away. Run to last. Get out. Don't even try to hold this. Honestly, it's not gonna be worth it. If you lose a fight, you you lose so much space. So uh, and yeah, they're not gonna try to contest. They should be out to four. They should be setting up on four already. I don't know where the engineer is. I don't know where Royal Flush is thinking. Uh, he needs to play, but he should be up at the top of ramp. And oh. that's a nice shot by Didi. He's gonna find two there. Yeah, they're busted back out onto third, re-pushing the cars pretty close, but they have got so many frags now in Xenon's favor. Fish, though, is eating a ton oh, of damage, that... ton of direct hits, and cleaned oh! up by Rebby. Icewind oh goes for the hero play to stall it, and someone else uh, is able to find the kills, so the medic doesn't have to do any work there, but uh, <laughs> I think Buck is mad. Oh. But, uh, Buck apparently got face stabbed. I didn't catch it, but the stream did, so uh, hopefully you all enjoyed that. He is mad about it. Um, feel free to rub it in later. Oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> Delts again! How does he get in for free every single time? Fish is gonna maybe die here as well. Uh, we'll just try to escape. No one touching the cart yet. Uh, here's gonna be the soldier jumping forward. Oh! Kaga says not today. The reflect kill. We'll shut oh, down and, and shot. Fabrica's one health! That was insane by Lit shooting down onto the low ground. Beautiful headshot onto Kimo to save the medic. Kimo was raining down on the medic who was just one out. Needed one more tickle onto them to take them out, but a crucial headshot by Lit saves the medic. Ooh, what a bomb by the demo right now, getting all the way in. Flush is in trouble, and the soldier collapsing as well. Icewind is 15 health, will fall. No. It is falling apart here for Xenon. GMSU continuing to work their way forward. Buck on the flank right now. Gonna try to hold these rocks and get some spam. Lit looking for the headshots through that nice sightline of the window. <laughs> look, look at Buck right now. He's just waiting patiently for someone to go through that shutter door. It's not gonna end up being anyone because uh, the sniper's taken down, so looking to regroup now. Delt is behind. The Uber has popped out. No Uber to speak up for the red team. Icewind has to stay alive. It's crucial that the medic lives here. Yeah, but he's uh, not particularly close to Uber, so they're gonna have to fight it dry. They're actually doing pretty well here, Xenon. Foz just uh, bringing down pain on the cart. He's gonna find another one onto the Pyro Carrot Flowers as well, so he can continue to go forward. They pick up Rebby, they pick up Technic, they've got all the frags they would have wanted Del other than that one onto the medic. Oh, and they can is, just about stabilize. How does he, he, he goes in, he decloaks, he misses the stab, and then he dances away for free, and lives, and he's still lurking behind. Meanwhile, Dini finds a fifth kill, Boz has the uh, black box. Oh, the Uber is forced out, Delt looking for a stab, missing it again, gets the sap though. Gun goes down. Oh, this is just, uh, it's GMS, GMSU's game here. Uh, they continue to apply pressure. I haven't gotten this cart up around the bend, though. Do you like this aggression of Xenon? They're just getting a couple of frags while GMSU aren't in position. Slightly out of phase deaths for them as well that they're probably going to have to wait around. Fabrica isn't even up to 100% yet. But it's going to be tough here for Xenon to hold onto this point as they are a large, large disadvantage and the cart has been moved up already. Uh, Buck's going to get two shot there by Ox. Kaga's also down. The Uber out for the blue team. Conch for the red. They need to find some uh, sustain here with the damage. They're not going to find too much though. They get Technic and actually they get Fabrica. I didn't see how it happened, but that does go down. So a big find there. Big Uber ad for Xenon to try to hold on a little while longer. 330. 
uh, left on the clock, they kind of try to stay alive. Yeah, they've blocked the car here decently, actually, Kibo and uh, Deity as well, just playing from that roof. Though Direct Hate is in, though, oh. launches wise to an up. He served it very nicely, actually, but does pop it out. I think possibly could have survived, but was pretty low. So just make sure he doesn't drop, doesn't want to have another one added to his drops TF total, <laughs> and keeps his team just about alive on this third point, fourth point for now. Deity willingly gets off the high ground to find the nice kill onto Lit. That's what I'm talking about. Good reposition. He's going to uh, get some damage in. Pause with the conch popped out. Looking to spam as much as he can. Del is uh, successfully infiltrating yet again. Looking for a decloak in a moment here. The chaos. Given the purpose of opportunity, he doesn't find it. He's caught out first. Deity will find Technic as well. So a big uh, find there by the Red Sniper. Yeah, there's not too many defenders here left for Xenon. They're trying to scrap it out. Foz 92%? Is to fight them. They're so close, they, they're going to have in time the Uber's going to uh, fade for the blue team, but that cart moving up the hill. 220 left to cap one point. Oh, the Uber is popped. They need to find kills. They need to find the medic. Icewind needs to live, but they don't. Icewind does live, though. Uh, so it's going to be probably four or five tries per GMSU to get this cap. Yeah, they just backed up too much kiting for the Uber, meant they couldn't block the car, couldn't get more success with the Uber. It was a desperation attempt. They're not going to be at too much of a disadvantage, but you do tend to build slower on defense on these payload maps, so they'll have to be careful because Fabrica is probably going to have it, uh, you know, at least 10 seconds before they do. Yeah, that Uber is going to be important. DD gets care flowers there. Nice find. Faz is dead. No conch to work with. Revy actually picks up two on a 3k right now. DH continues to wreak havoc as he finds Chemo. 4k now. The gun is dead as well. Del looking to reposition. Buck needs to be turned around right now. You can't let oh, blue team get in. And now the cart's going to be pressured as well by Ox. Doesn't decide to go for the full push quite yet. Maybe waiting for their pyro to be back in position. Buck's going to be taking a lot of damage and taking a lot of attention away from the medic. The Uber out for the blue team. The spy in behind. Finds a couple of kills. Oh, and it's all falling apart. GMSU finishes the game with a drop onto Ice Winds. And uh, that is it. GMSU takes it two maps to nil. There we go. It would be a Xenon game without it finishing with Icewind Drop in and there we go. <laughs>